Hi, it's Sunny Queen here, Cinco de Mayo. Yay! So we're going to be making some pulled, honey pulled pork. And also known as Cafe Rio or Mama's Cafe Rio in this house because I've been doing it for years, way, way before. I would make it for family gatherings, friend gatherings, Anytime we had a birthday, teacher appreciation, I always organized it, had everybody bring in their different things to, bring, to make this. Uh, let's see, any church gatherings? It was there. So all you need to have is some Cox's honey liquid. I'm gonna do a pound, but if you're doing a large group, you might wanna do three of these. So you can triple this recipe, double this, whatever you need to. Dr. Pepper's a good one, any kind, any size. We're not gonna quite use this whole thing. I'll just kinda of look how it mixes there. Garlic, we've got our garlic here and our salsa. Any salsa will do. Homemade salsa, that works. And I'll catch up a little bit of brown sugar, just a little bit, so I've got that there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna measure and mix the ingredients, and I already have that measured out. Yay me! <laughs> I'm feeling very festive. So first thing I'm gonna put in, of course, is the honey. Now I want you to know that I put the ketchup and the salsa and the thing in here so that this would just slide right out. You always wanna put everything else. Now that was really smart. I always wanna put everything else in that will make it go there. Okay, there we go. Got that in. And then you wanna put, that's a third a cup. Next you wanna put a third a cup of ketchup in. Just slide right out. I'm never perfect at any of these things, and that's what's so good about it. Then we get our salsa, so we put that in there. And I have the garlic measured out here, one teaspoon. So everything's a third a cup, except the um, garlic is one, one teaspoon minced. And like I said, with the Dr. Pepper, you just kind of want to fill what you want to put in there. I'm gonna try half and stir it and see where we're at from there. You just do it right in the whole pan because who wants to mess up more dishes? So I just stir it around. And I think that might look good, so maybe a little bit more. So maybe about half of that in there. So if you use the whole Three times this or double, I've used the whole thing in there. And of course, if you're using one of those big, big um, cookers, I would use a whole two liters in there. All right, so let's mix. The next thing you do is you just sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on this. It doesn't take much. Brown sugar just seems to give it that little crispness that it comes out there. And I serve this with all those traditional things. You can serve it over chips, over uh, tortilla shells, tostados, tacos. You can do so many things with this. It's endless. And I will tell you about the order I do things in just a moment. Let's get this going. We're gonna cook it on high for four hours or on low for seven to eight hours. Just depends on how you wanna do it. I'll probably do it on the low because I just like things to cook slow. And this is a good time for you to use up your granulation. Honey, if you've got some granulated and you haven't, you've been forgetting to rotate it, this is the time to do it. And so you just put that in there and we'll turn the crock pot on to low, like I said, for seven or eight hours or high for four hours. And that's it. As soon as it's ready to pull apart, then you know it's done. That's when we'll check it. And so we'll be back to shred it after that. Okay, so it flipped to warm, which means it's looking down. It's smelling like it is cooked. And so I'm going to shred it and show you what it looks like next. And there you have it, all shredded. So that was our last step. See how delicious. I usually let it sit till it cools. 
So it kind of just soaks in all the flavor and everything. It's really good. So you can just serve it over chips or tortillas, tostado, any of those. I have an order of things I put, which I usually put like the chips and the lettuce and the meat. You can switch those around. I do rice, I can do lime rice or I can do uh, Mexican rice, you can do either one of those. I like the lime rice best. Beans, do your choice, but my favorite is black. I just like those. You can also do chicken if you would like to do instead of pork, if you like chicken better. Then I do a little pico de gallo, homemade on that. Green dressing, we call it the green dressing. Uh, I think it has a little bit of cilantro in it too, and um, it just tastes like, sometimes that cilantro tastes like soap to people. My son does not like that. So I try not to use cilantro when he's around, but when he's around, it's all game. Then I also put on the top of that, I crumble little tortilla strips with a little homemade guacamole and sour cream and cheese. And sometimes we just let them build up their own, whatever they want to do. Grandchildren, did you find the bee? Had it on my shoulder the whole time. Somebody gave me these cute little dish towels. It's adorable, yeah. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, share it with other people, share the sweetness, and check me out on Facebook. I got two, I got a group that's private, and I also have a page. Then I have an Instagram account along with Twitter, but I do put the recipe below, and I put it also on Pinterest. You can find it there. Have a sweet day, and happy Cinco de Mayo!